Hey everyone, it's Ray with the channel Love Water, and today's reading we're going to do um, some Earth Magic Oracle cards, and we're going to pull a Money Magic Manifestation card. That's what I was asked to do for today. So let's get a little Earth Magic out there. Uh, ring that bell. Okay, some deep breaths. I want to show everyone the rituals that I do before I do the cards, and I figured, well, everyone can do this. This is not something that's just, you know, mine and mine alone. The people I've done readings for know that this is my prep because they hear me, or in some cases hear me and see me. So... I might as well do it on my videos as well. So let's get ground into that earth magic and let's see what the earth has to give to us today. So for the collective, what earth magic should we bring out for the collective? Yes, okay, spirit, let's see. Earth magic, ooh, we've got one, okay. Earth magic for the collective, got another one. Looks like we've got some water, it's emotions. I know in my last reading I talked about dealing with uh, emotions and working through uh, emotional fears and getting some healing out there. So, let's see if we can get one more card out of here. Oop. And we did. It's another water card. It's a lot of water going on here. Okay. Ooh, there's quite a few of them that came out. <clears throat> okay. Quite a few cards came out of here. Okay, let's do it like this. So we got another one under there. Ooh, this is a lot, actually. This is a lot for the collective. There's some stuff going on out there. Where we've got to work on some emotions and really shining our light on who we are. So the first card that fell out is called Summer Solstice. And you see this beautiful picture of the sun and... It's showing you, it says radiance. So I think this is a time right now where everyone needs to shine their light, right? We're going through a lot of stuff right now um, with everything in the world. There's so many things happening and it's going to be really important for you to take the time, step back, take a deep breath before reacting and think about how that reaction would make someone who's you love very much in your life like a grandmother or your parents or even your child how would they appreciate the reaction that you want to give to another human and then tone it down right radiate the light we all have to face and have our shadow times but it's important to also realize for every dark there is light and where there is dark there is always light so if we can choose a place to be in that's more radiant and giving off more love and light to another human even in our our most anger it'll help them to move on as well because they'll really take the opportunity to look at your reaction and maybe not be as reactionary or they might think that what you're coming at them with is not as aggressive and they can feel the love coming from you. So let's pull up um, this card. So release your concerns about what may happen in the future and focus on appreciating everything that you have that is good and right. Allow Father Son to take away your worries and cares. Do something physically active to stimulate your inner light. Dance, sing, and most important, get outdoors. Don't let any negative thoughts or habits stop you. When you're in love with life, you naturally radiate that love. 
During this part of your cycle, your capacity to love is greatly amplified. In one of those supreme ironies of life, the more love you give, the more returns to you. It's true. No energy can be created or destroyed. It's just constantly in flow. It starts by allowing the radiant beings you truly are to be expressed into the world. Smile a little more. Notice the beauty of nature. See the humor in paradoxes of life. Show your love, especially to those with whom you're closest. Then smile even more and watch how the world around you lights up. Oh, so true. Okay. Then the next card we got is Iceberg. And I feel like there's a lot of water cards that came out with this reading. So it's going to be really important that we take a step back and really assess our emotions, right? Even if it's not flowing water, um, this iceberg card right here, let me show it to you. It says submerged. And even though it's not flowing, once that sun, that light, lights up the iceberg, there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes to the surface, right? And we're going to start flowing again. And you really want to make sure you get into that river and you go, you know, with the flow as opposed to going against it. Because when those emotions come to surface from all that ice melting, from all that light that you put out there, you want to make sure that you are in a, a space that you have a way to ground yourself and release any emotions that come forth. And right now there's a lot of emotions coming to the surface. Um, not only in the United States, but all over the world. There are so many things that are happening that's bringing unrest. And it's important sometimes to take a step back and see where not only do you fall in the mix, but how do you put more love out there to everyone who is feeling um, out of sorts, not feeling like they are loved and taken care of, and not just recognizing that we're all spirits, right? In this physical human form, or how I say, like in this meat suit, we're just spirit beings in these meat suits. And then if we realize we're all interconnected, it'll help us to bring more uh, love and light to those people that are not feeling um, so uplifted right now. So whatever you suppress or deny, uh, an attempt to keep out of your conscious awareness will show up somehow, somewhere. So here it is. These are shadow aspects. So with dark comes light. At one time, you put them out of your consciousness for good reason, yet they remain contained by shame and guilt. Sometimes these submerged aspects of yourself are projected onto others so that they mirror those denied or suppressed parts of yourself. And you may harshly judge these characteristics when they are exhibited. Now is the time to allow these elements to surface and embrace them, right? Go with the river. Don't fight against it. These may make up some sort of self-expression, a secret dream you wish to accomplish, or even uglier aspects that are difficult to acknowledge or accept. Whatever you have submerged deep inside of you, this is your opportunity to pay attention to those things and welcome them to the family called you. Yes, you. <laughs> we are all interconnected. And we all have things that we've submerged into the ugliness of our consciousness. But now this is the time that it's going to start emerging. So we know that you're going in with love and light. And as these things start to come out of the, the frozen iceberg, it'll be good for you to take that opportunity. Let's clear that a little bit. Whew. Okay. The next one. So now you've submerged and now you're coming out of it with the rain and purification. Oh, so beautiful. So emotionally, you've come into this place where you're like, okay, I'm about love and light, and I really, really, really want to radiate and shine. In order to radiate and shine, I have to go through all these other things first in order to get to being able to move. And you'll see this back here with this last card, the river. But first, let's go through a purification. We know that we've gotten through all this subconscious stuff we've pushed down and it was inside of us at one point. And now it's starting to melt down and come out of the iceberg. So now it's time for purification. I love this card. This is so beautiful. It's so appropriate for what's going on right now too. Um, as everyone has, you know, things that are going on in their life and they're feeling like, you know, they are not able to take hold and fully feel like, okay, this makes sense. I'm going to move forward with this. 
Um, and then something comes along, you know, to put a snafu right into it. What you have to realize is that it's not a snafu. This is the universe telling you this is not the time to do it. So it's in, you have to go through all of these phases um, in life in order to keep moving forward. So the river is fighting or blocking the flow of your life force can lead you to feeling spiritually void and disconnected from source. Just like the metaphor of the river, it does not work to force or fight this compelling movement. When you p simply pay attention and observe the flow, it becomes easier to navigate your experiences and see what lies ahead, or at least get a sense of what is to come by the ever-changing geography that unfolds as you cruise along. Your resistance to hampering your ability to make a choice in this matter. Surrender to the movement of life. Be grateful. And you will see the signs along the shore and in the river itself that offer you clues about what direction your egoless self is to be making. Go with the flow is more of a trite, uh, it is more trite. It is essential that you do so now. Breathe, relax, and you will know. See? Okay, so we've submerged, gotten through these emotions. We're purifying now, right? The rain's coming down, purifying us. Let's move on to the next one. So we've gone through purification and now it's the waterfall. So now it's literally pouring on top of us, right? The icebergs have completely melted. It's rained all over us with all the emotions and now it's pouring all over us. But when the waterfall comes, there's no effort. So it says effortless. And that's important because it'll help you then, you've moved through these emotions, you've gone through a purification, and now it feels like it's effortless to think about those emotions that were down deep. And you realize how you're able to move through them. So you've come to the edge of your comfort zone and you find yourself fighting to resist moving past that perceived precipice of who you are, how you can be, and what you can do. Spirit is asking you to step beyond the edge and allow yourself to do so with ease rather than struggle. Yes, at times physical exertion is necessary, but when performed with fluidity and grace, even when the task seems daunting, you'll find that the movement moves you effortlessly. Approach the present situation or relationship with awareness and grace. Do not try to make it effortless, just create that will just create more strain. The key word here is to allow, allow, oh, beautiful word. This is not a time to fight, but to surrender to the will of spirit. Even if you are being asked to let go completely and tumble into the brink of creation itself, you will find the waters there to be ultimately still and calm. Keep your focus on your solar plexus and your breath, breathing through any attention. Relaxing and yielding to the movement that is occurring at any given moment makes your life effortless. Woo, nice. And so appropriate that along with this card came out was the forest to breathe, which is appropriate. Um, so <laughs> along with the effortless, we have the forest. And it reminds you to go out into nature, bare feet if possible, stand in the grass, and just breathe. Early in the morning, too, if you can, Right when the sun is tipping and starting to uh, rise, if possible, get out there. You know, take a deep breath, stand in the grass, and really listen to your breath in and out. Close your eyes, if at all possible, and just relax. Hands at your sides, you know, and then feel your feet, actually, the emotions that are associated with whatever's going on ground you to the earth. Almost feels like you're feet become tree trunks and they become embedded in the earth and that'll help you to rein in any kind of anxiety it'll help you to breathe more all that so your breathing is too shallow allow it to become to feel natural it is unhealthy habit that causes this shortness of breath when you subconsciously shorten your breath no matter if this is a habitual or triggered by some event or circumstance it activates certain psychological signs that prepare your system for fight or flight Another conditioned response to perceive, uh, is to perceive danger is to hold your breath. This is your survival response, although it does not serve you to do so. So breathe, 
Inhale deeply. <sighs> Regardless of your concerns, worries, or problems, then let it go. Next, allow yourself to breathe a little deeper and slower a few times. Remember that every breath you inhale is a gift and that every breath you exhale is a gift. The forest is a clear reminder of how this works. Okay, so we have the forest and then it seems like the universe wants you to go and ground yourself completely and hug a tree, okay? And this is like the whole precipice of these cards being that it's earth magic. So they're literally saying to you, we have all of these things that you're going to go through and now it's time to, to clearly ground yourself with the tree. I just think this reading is so profound and so beautiful and so appropriate for right now and where we all need to be. And it's about just taking a time and just stepping back and breathing and grounding yourself. You've been feeling scattered and spacey lately, so this will do this all to you. Feeling scattered and spacey, going through all of these different emotions that are maybe light and dark and trying to remain as loving of a being as possible through all of this. This is coming up. Um, you are not fully in your body and that is because you have not been able to get grounded. This is quite literal in that your body is made of materials of the earth. So when you feel disconnected from your body, you are inevitably disconnected from earth. So get yourself grounded and you can do it quite simply. With your feet firmly planted on the ground, wherever you are, feel the etheric roots that extend into the earth. Follow your breath so each time you exhale, you can imagine these roots growing even deeper. Each time you inhale, draw up the loving, nurturing power of Mother Earth. As soon as you have the chance, go outdoors, sit or stand with your back supported by a tree. I'd say hug a tree too. Feel its solidness and integrity. It is simply being a tree. Breathe in the essence of the tree spirit and allow this to fill you up. Walk barefoot very slowly on the ground so you can maintain this connection. And last but not least, we have the river, right? So movement forward, finally. So not that you didn't have movement forward in all these other cards, but really breaking through that iceberg and then getting, you know, the purification of the rain and then the waterfall. And then, I mean, the forest, right? Telling you to breathe and then ground yourself. Now you're finally ready after you've let go of these emotions that are down deep and you've done it with integrity and love and light and feeling the best that you can, realizing that you're creating your own reality because you are a spiritual being having a meat suit experience, you can finally go with the river and experience the movement. Oh, so great. So it's like getting in the river and just letting it take you wherever it's going to take you. I think that's the most exciting part about being a human is that you have all these different choices and you can literally get in a boat on a river and let the river take you wherever it's going to take you. And you don't know where it's going, but it's always going to be an exciting adventure. So fighting or blocking the flow of your life force can lead you to feeling spiritually void and disconnected from source. Just like the metaphor of the river, it does not work to force or fight this compelling movement. When you simply pay attention and observe the flow, it becomes easier to navigate your experiences and see what lies ahead, or at least get a sense of what is to come by the ever-changing geography that unfolds as you cruise along. Your resistance is hampering your ability to make a choice in this matter. Surrender to the movement of life. Be grateful and you'll see signs along the shore and in the river itself that offer you clues about what direction your egoless self is to be making. Go with the flow. That's so awesome. I just love that so much. That's so beautiful and so important right now. So the storm has passed and it's time to enjoy the refreshing beauty of this cycle. Even though it has been difficult to appreciate any sense of purposefulness in what you have endured lately, you can now, as they say, count your blessings. Don't just look at the brighter side, adhering to some academic mantra that has no heart or depth, but do so and with a genuine gratitude that is expressed up close and personal. 
This ever-evolving process of life itself is a blessing. It's an opportunity to exist as a human being on this earth. Spiritual beings have a physical meat suit experience. The planet is a beautiful garden, even if it does not always appear to be so. Sometimes it is only when you look back at a memory of an experience that you can truly see the blessings that have come from them. Bless your difficult or painful experiences and let them go. <sighs> oh, that was so beautiful. That was great. Okay, so this was an awesome message for the collective. I think it's important to really get into those, you know, shadowy places, into that dark, right? But with the sun and the radiant light behind you, right? And then move through. This can all be done, you know, in a fairly short period of time and repeated over and over again with each thing that comes up with the iceberg. So it's important then, I, I would think right now, like I've said on some of my videos, wake up in the morning, the first thing you do, drink three glasses of water, take your water glass, hold it, say it three times, I love you, I love you, I love you. The energy actually from your hands will transfer that I love you into this water and then you drink it. Three glasses of that in the morning. You can do it with all your water you ever drink too or any liquid, I don't care. You can do it with your food. You can tell I love you to everything because it'll actually bring more love to you anyway. So do that in the morning and then take some time to sit outside if possible and write five things you're grateful for. They can be really simple and easy. It doesn't have to be anything that is just out of this world. It could be something as simple as, I'm grateful for running water. I'm grateful for a roof over my head. I'm grateful to have the experiences and the love of people around me. You can do all kinds of different things, but this will help you to move through that experience because it'll start to bring stuff up that'll start to melt through this iceberg. As you go through that dark experience, at least you'll have that love and light. And so you can push through, purify, make it effortless because you're breathing, you're grounding yourself, and then you're letting the river take you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The like button would be awesome for you to hit too. And if you wanted to donate, my information is below. I will see you all in the next video. Keep smiling.